Terry Ryan Kayak and Marie Jose Albur in our opening match of women's 10 pin play. We've spit, split the first two frames, and once again, a 10 pin standing as Kerry Ryan Kayak has gotten caught now in two straight frames. Well, she has two 10 pins up in a row, and she'll make a little bit of adjustment, and it's just a, a minute the portion of her feet that she could move, or she could move the angle that she's coming in just to get the six pin to take it out. Nicely done, covers the 10 pin well. What I like about watching these ladies bowling is the fact that, look at the size of them. You do not have to be Amazons to bowl in the 10 pin game or any other game. You can just have a lot of fun. And they use their size to their advantage because they can really take the power. Now watch how she does. She pushes it up, gets it back here, brings it in, and really rifles on it just as she's let go. Boy, she's had an opening split. She's now got another one here. This is a problem. Watch as she gets to the line, she just reefs on it here, yanks on it, pulls her foot off of the approach, and then right into the head pin, right through the throat, and that pin went sideways. This is a spur that can be made, but not likely. She's a little nervous, and rightfully so. Needs the spare to force a carry over, and won't get it. We'll leave the four standing, so the third frame goes to Kerry Ryan Kayak two-time champion last year and then in the year 2000 now three in a row in bowling is a turkey mm -hmm. three times champion well I'm not gonna call <laughs> no you can't Kerry you got two of them turkey. no exactly and you you've seen her husband. great action yeah Joe's here and he's uh, appearing in the men's play that was a nice hit, actually. She uh, carried the pin, got a little bit of a break. There's uh, Joe right in the back. Now watch this as she comes through. She lets the ball fall a little bit over to the right-hand side, and then as she's turning it up over the top. Look at that. She's praying for him, <laughs> but she got the results. Mary Ann needs to get a strike to carry it over. Well, she hasn't made that adjustment as you thought she might because that's uh, another 10 she's left standing, and that's three in a row. Sometimes you can move up just like an inch or two on the approach or just change your angle. You've got to do something in it. And as you mentioned, you've only got 10 frames. And in fact, if you lose six, you're out of the game. So she's very consistent, though, on her uh, spares. And that's nice to see. With four spares up, she has the advantage in pin count through three. But it is Marie Jose who has the strike up in four. Now let's see if she makes this adjustment. She, now watch as she puts the ball over here. It rolls a little bit to the right on her hand, brings it up. Now she turns it and really brings it up. This will be better. Well done. There's Joe back there. I tell you, he's got a new haircut. Looks pretty spiffy, that fellow there. Just a tremendous talent. He coaches her, does a great job. Watch this as she comes through the ball. Watch it, that hit in there in the 17 and a half board, carries it over, pulls out the seventh pin. She needs to get a strike to keep it going. Oh, great action. <laughs> we have a match. We do, and we've got our first carryover, so the sixth will be worth a hundred dollars. We'll see Joe Kayak in the men's 10 pin play. Now this young lady right here has been having trouble on the left hand lane. She's been carrying strikes on the right, has had splits on the left. But she has a double up here, which actually is important because it puts her uh, right behind in scoring. Watch now. This one here, she has to make an adjustment because she's been having the splits. Oh, ten. Notice the uh, six pin lay in the channel. Used to be we'd call them gutters. Now they call them channels. And so this one, it doesn't matter. You should hear what some of the competitors will call them when they leave it up. Watch this imagine. ball coming straight through. Turns a little bit. There's the six pin lays on the side. That's a bad break because it just sort of wrapped itself around. Looking for the spare here in six. Has a good pin count going. I'll tell you, she's happy and should be with that one. She was very lucky on that. <laughs> Watch this ball. It gets out there and almost off at the end. Watch right here. Only the weight of the ball kept it on there. But there's the body English trying to help it over. How sweet it is. And here she is on a strike here. 
and a chance to win a couple of frames and the hundred dollars Kerry Ryan kayak thing that's going to help her here is the consistency because she's had uh, three times in a row where she had the 10 pin picked them all up she's uh, even and she's in fact right now on a 97 potential and uh, let's see if she can pick this pair up carry it over for two frames if we should split the money evenly then we will use the scoring to determine who advances so we'll carry over one more time and so the seventh frame will be worth hundred and fifty dollars an advantage in a situation like this do you believe to Marie Jose Albert the more carryovers the better for her to keep herself alive well it is because then she can start relaxing and she's obviously got the credentials she won New Brunswick you don't come out of that area unless you've got the talent so the longer she can stay in the game the better a chance she has right now oh, look at that three pins still on the uh, pin deck but not enough got the splatter and and didn't knock it on over now it'll be interesting because I've noticed here that Carrie Ann is doing a little bit of exercising maybe she's just a little bit stiff there in the back because she's trying to wiggle it out here a little bit let's see if she uh, can free it up two times she has been the champion so she'll get the spare in seven she's had a mark in every frame just the one strike though Kerry Ryan Kayak that was in five great opportunity though now Frank for Marie Jose with a strike here she could pick up three frames and this game shows no mercy. They don't care whether you're the defending champion or not. Well, this lady has had nothing but problems. Actually, I'm a little surprised she had a problem on this lane. She made a, an adjustment. She's left up, and worse yet, she left up the pins. So she loses pin count. Watch this ball as it comes through. She, her hand came right over the top. She went through on the left-hand side, and she now has five pins. This is almost an impossibility, and it loses the pin count. So. Gary Ryan Kayak has picked up some pretty good oh. numbers here. And she picks up the biggest number of the three frames she picks up and the $150. So she's at $250. Needs just a split of a frame to advance. Marie is a statistician, which is rather interesting. Bowls 25 games a week. Salon de Kiel. Is that how you pronounce it? Salon de Kiel. Very right. good. Right. They, they own the bowling center in Saint Simon. I thought it was a rather interesting comment. She said that they built and own a bowling center. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of work. And of course, anybody that's been around thinks that anybody that owns a bowling center does nothing but practice. This lady doesn't practice that much, but she still carries a 180 average. And this time around, as you saw there, lots of pin count going down. What I like about it is that she's pretty consistent. Leaves up the single pin, whips the ball through. Gets the spare in eight. And now she must win all the other frames and bring her pin count up. Because she's fallen behind there too. Gary Ryan likes to relax keep her mind clear and uh, make the spares and she's been doing that but now she's got a strike possible knocking it over yes sir that now that is an important break the five pin was standing up there and it just topples watch this as she comes through here's where she gets the break right here she put all that effort into it you see her foot wiggle there a little bit but watch the five pin it goes down right there what a break that was. Why she can convert this spare. And she does. So we'll carry over. And the ninth will be worth $100. There's $150 left to be won here in his open, opening uh, preliminary. Still to come, Julie Johnson Loyer against Diana Nakonechny. Carrie Ryan Kayak likes to get her mind clear while she's sitting on the bench, and her opponent likes to think about hitting the head pin and don't trip, which is a rather interesting yes. comment. No, it's well, she tripped all of the pins right now, and that's an important ball going up on the ninth frame, the anchor frame. She has 155 in the eighth, strike up on the ninth, and this lady has now had three splits on the right-hand lane. Let's see if she's made a 
adjustment because she must get a strike. And she has now got four splits. And she will not get the strike, so the frame and the game to Kerry Ryan Kayak and the defending champion will move on to the quarterfinal to play either Julie Johnson Loyer or Diana Nakonechny. Now watch as she lines up on this. She brings the ball back over her head, flips her hand down. She keeps good balance up there, but she's just been a little bit nervous. She's got credentials and hopefully for her that she will come back and join us again. But she uh, did an, an amazing accomplishment to come back out of, or to at least come out of New Brunswick. 290 and a 723 is a tremendous score that she's had. Watch here as she's up for her last frame as she ro rolls the ball over, lets it hang over a little, little. Then she turns it up and over. Outside of her mark. See the ball, the weight of the ball swings on her and pulls her arm out just a little bit. She's got good balance there, but look how far out she is on the lane about 40 boards on those lanes and she was trying to use them all and it wasn't going to work she doesn't have the power on that ball to make it happen have to change the angles and of course she's in trying to adjust as you can see there but she leaves up two pins not indicative of her score or, or certainly her talent but uh, here's the lady that can show us why she's there 155 in the eighth to strike up on the ninth she is the defending champion Kerry Ryan Kayak. Goes? No, it won't. It will stay the... Isn't that neat? The pin just moves off. If you take a look on the uh, pin deck, you will see black spots. That's where they uh, normally set the pins up. And there you see it. That thing just moved over. She picked up her spare. And again, the consistency as much as anything has helped Kerry Ryan Kayak. 175 in the ninth of 195 potential. And as you mentioned, she is going on to the next match. There isn't an open, there isn't an open frame on the score sheet for Kerry Ryan Kayak. 192. For the defending champion, Kerry Ryan Kayak of Mississauga, who with her winnings of $400 has now topped 17,000 in her pins career and she'll have a chance to win a lot more carry ryan kayak <laughs>